Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Nomadic Sage and in this video I like to go over a couple of things regarding a recently launched credit card this is the Indusind Bank Tiger credit card and uh, as per uh, sources and as per the news that is being circulated right now this is a lifetime free credit card and uh, with it being a lifetime free credit card they are still offering one complimentary golf benefit with this card so let's just go over a little things uh, about this card and my opinion on it and certain things uh, that we can do after getting this credit card so let's get started firstly if this is a lifetime free credit card this uh, is uh, you know sort of a, a mid tier i would say but the reward system is uh, not that good as uh, you can see from uh, the website that uh, uh, the rewards are earned in slabs so up to 1 lakh uh, they are only giving us uh, 1 point for 100 rupees spent and the value of uh, those reward point if converted to air miles is 1.2 uh, air miles and if uh, uh, converted to let's say a statement credit or uh, e-vouchers then the value would be 0 0.4 both for statement credit and for redeemable vouchers or uh, any of uh, you know the benefits uh, that you might want to avail with uh, reward points so in my opinion this uh, doesn't seems good because uh, one reward point of uh, 0.4 rupees is quite low so it will give us a reward rate of 0.4 percent and that is a little bit bad in my opinion because uh, wealth credit card itself uh, you know just for uh, regular payments uh, like 3x and 6x for offline and uh, online so if you are spending uh, uh, with your wealth card online then you will get 6 reward point which would be equal to 1.5 rupees and uh, offline it would be 0 0.75 rupees so still uh, wealth card is a little bit better in comparison to uh, the tiger card when it comes to simply the reward rates other than the reward points that you can earn on this credit card there are different benefits so discounted forex a markup of 1.5 and this will include the GST as well so 1.5 plus GST again this is similar to wealth credit card where we have a markup of 1.5 percent as you can see here and this will again attract GST on it as well so in that regard uh, wealth card is uh, better but 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 this uh, golf benefit it is complimentary without any spend based criteria unlike wealth credit card where uh, uh, in order to unlock golf benefit you would need to spend at least 20,000 or 40,000 to unlock uh, all the golf benefits so as you can see for two complimentary golf rounds per month uh, for every 20,000 spent so if you spend 20,000 in a calendar month then on the next month you'll get one golf round and if you spend 40,000 then you can get two complimentary golf round but yeah that is a uh, uh, unlock only after certain spends but in the tri tiger credit card the, we cannot see any such uh, requirement on the website uh, so I'm assuming that there is no such requirement here but another thing to notice is that one complimentary golf game or lesson is per quarter only what does that mean so for three months you'll only get one complimentary golf so let's say I got this card this month then I can use that complimentary golf uh, let's say in the next month and then for two months I will not have any golf benefit in this card which in my opinion is uh, not that good but yeah it's still because it's a lifetime free credit card then we can keep it with us for that one uh, uh, golf lesson or game per quarter other than that they're also giving some launch access but uh, you know launch access is basically on almost all good credit cards so i won't discuss this but i'll just say that they're giving domestic uh, two good domestic uh, launch access per quarter and two international launch access uh, 
per year so eight domestic and two international so compared to wealth credit card only benefit i see is that if you want to keep an additional card for that one call round per quarter then you can keep this card uh, however uh, since it's a lifetime free credit card there is no joining and renewal fees we can in the future upgrade to something different so for industry and bank there is also this uh, pinnacle credit card and this uh, in my opinion is a pretty good credit card and it does have a joining fees of uh, i think uh, 12000 rupees plus gst and uh, uh, renewal fees i don't think there is any renewal fees so uh, you only have to pay the joining fees but with this credit card you get a lot more golf access so let me just quickly show you so here you can see that uh, they are uh, offering two complimentary golf games and four complimentary golf lesson once a month so uh, if i get this credit card then probably in a, a month i can do four golf lessons so that is pretty good and uh, if i get this credit card the tiger credit card and then maybe in the future after 6 months or 7 months or maybe a year i can upgrade to pinnacle credit card and if i upgrade then i uh, feel that i might not need to pay the joining fees so in that regard this will also become a lifetime free credit card but yeah if i get into the you know the system of indusland bank then maybe i can work towards better cards that are being offered by them and uh, indusland bank have a lot of good credit cards other than tiger and uh, pinnacle as you can see from this uh, website they have mentioned all of their credit cards which includes uh, one of their most premium credit card the heritage credit card this is a metal credit card that comes with a lots and lots of benefits and then there is also the legacy credit card which is again uh, a super premium credit card just like uh, heritage but it's not metal and i think uh, there are few differences uh, between the benefits of both but yeah both of them are super premium and another super premium credit card is here the uh, celestia credit card and uh, grace credit card is also one of their uh, super premium credit card so maybe in the future like if uh, you get the tiger credit card you can work towards pinnacle and then maybe you can work towards uh, legacy or heritage so these are very expensive credit card not only in terms of their joining fees which could be in lakhs and uh, indusland bank uh, sometimes have uh, lakhs of rupees as joining fees so i don't know what they are thinking on that but uh, that is what it is so maybe if we are starting from a uh, lifetime free credit card it might be much better to move towards a uh, better uh, super premium credit card so yeah so this was uh, just centered around uh, golf benefits but uh, other than that there are other benefits uh, of these credit cards as well sticking purely to uh, tiger credit card i would say uh, the reward rate is not that good complimentary golf uh, is uh, still not that good but it is there without any uh, spend based criteria and uh, lounge access are there which are in my opinion good they are also offering international lounges through priority pass so no complaints on that has a lifetime credit card lifetime free credit card i think it's a good card but it could have been better if i had to pay fees for this card like maybe even 500 rupees plus gst then i would definitely would not have preferred this card but has a lifetime free credit card i think i might uh, recommend it and maybe even apply for it myself just to get into uh, you know the indusland bank so uh customer base so that was the video guys i hope you liked it and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and if you want me to do a better comparison of uh, different cards or uh, the golf benefits or maybe like i have done for wealth credit card if uh, you want me to show you how to book uh, the golf round for indusland bank credit card then just let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to make a video for that 
and other than that just please uh, hit that thumbs up button and if you like this video uh, consider subscribing thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one